A program called the Skipper Science Partnership has been gathering data statewide to learn more about Alaska's waters from fishery stocks to environmental conditions. And with the new expansion, there is now a special focus on Nushigak King Salmon. Data shows the Bristol Bay's sockeye numbers are soaring, but at the same time, King Salmon seem to be in trouble. Enter the Skipper Science Partnership's Nushigak expansion. Its purpose? Gather more information about what is happening to Chinooks in the area. I think the question there is, is there a way to harvest sockeye while minimizing the pressure on kings? So, but in order to do that, we need data. The method comes from the Skipper Science Partnership, which allows commercial fishermen to use an app to provide data on Alaska's waters. Our three entities came together to really figure out, okay, what is a tool and a platform that we can build to help crowdsource um, this information in a rigorous, repeatable, standardized way that non-scientists can use, but that can be used in science discussions and in research to really help communities take an active role in building climate resilient fisheries. Targeted research is focused on the Nushigak, where fishermen can send data on their gear type, fishing efforts, location, and catch numbers for sockeye, chum, and kings. So that we can get a sense of how these different species are distributed across the fishing, fishing district at different points in the season. Which researchers hope can be used to determine what is happening to the king salmon population in Bristol Bay. The more that we can learn about why that's happening and where that's happening and what we can do to protect them, I think benefits you know, this generation as well as future generations. And others are trying to do the same. We're having conversations with other communities across the state, actually, including in areas in the Northern Bering Sea, about what community-based monitoring can look like in their region. Um, and most importantly, what research can benefit what they're grappling with. But the program only works if community members step up to help. And this program can be an excellent and easy opportunity for them to really share their voice and share their knowledge and expertise. Garcia says the Skipper Science Partnership hopes to release its first publication concerning the Nushigak project sometime in the winter. Beth? And the federal government is putting 